That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. So, we get on the scene. You giving me the hi hat? First thing I'm gonna check out is the wallet and the glasses here. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Need to twist your wrist to activate the clue. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired, by the way. The next clue's gonna be the bloody pipe. What's going on over there? Same as the glasses and the brand name wrist. might give us something to go on. <laughs> Next clue is the interior of the car. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Next clue is in the trunk. How's the wall looking? Seat. Ah, oh, always the same two of you, fine. How about you? Mr. F. Morgan, I a pig yesterday? Finally, I want to talk to the coroner. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. We're ready to interview our witness. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. So everything he says is true, except for the content. The wallet of the by wallet. the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? And we doubt his statement on that. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. So the rest of the answers are true. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on. Stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. We're gonna have a look around, then we'll talk. So the first clue is the match book. Cavanaugh. So who brought this home? Further investigate to activate the clue. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. And that's also gonna activate the phone records investigation that you need to call to get the Kavanaugh's address. There's a newspaper there also. I'll have a video up with all the newspapers. We have two more clues. Insta heat receipt. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. And the Insta heat flyer. Don't ask me why the flyer is a clue. Uh, investigate it completely to activate the clue. Go out back. There's a lot of irrelevant clues at this scene. So waste your time if you want to. 
No use leaving the thing half finished. Mini puzzle here to complete in order to get the clue. Really very simple. I'll just demonstrate it in the video here. Missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Couple more clues inside. Come in the bedroom here. Train ticket. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. More clues on the desk. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. I'm gonna investigate the picture closer. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Alright, so now you're gonna wanna make sure you use the phone to get the address to Kavanaugh's. Then Your sit husband down drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? Mrs. Black. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Do you think you could answer some questions now, Mrs. Black? Of course. However I can help. Now, the proper order to ask the questions, you would start with the location of Adrian Black. You would move on to Kavanaugh's bar. Then on to the glasses and slaughterhouse receipt questions. Then the photograph signed Nicole. And finally, the alibi for Mrs. Black. I'm going to start with the photograph signed Nicole. This is the only question that she lies about. All the rest of the answers are true. Except for the photograph signed Nicole. This tell is us a about lie. the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know <laughs> about the picture. So we have the concealed message as our evidence. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. So the rest of the questions are truth, and we will go to Kavanaugh's bar from here. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. You looking for someone? I can't decide between the two locations. Frank Morgan. Who's that? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. So we're now at Kavanaugh's bar with our person of interest, Frank Morgan, our single question. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? 
Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. No, he's lying. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? How about our receipt for the hog? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and mail you one. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Next question. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. And we know this guy's full of it, but we don't have evidence, so we will doubt that. I'm tired of your stick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. I say we arrest this guy. You call these crips? Let's go get You got Adrian Morgan's Black. address? Let's get over to his apartment. You can drive. All right. Where to? So we got our final clue, which is the swine blood, on our way. Well, let's check the place to Morgan's out. apartment. Come on. You can check the mailbox, which will tell you that it's apartment. This one. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew right, it! So Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit quick him off chase. the chase. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Get to the roof, break left. Drop down, break left again. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Slide down the pipe. Stop right there, it's Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian.